All right, we're heading up to the state capitol right now. It's, uh, it's me and uh, Super Crunch. <laughs> Got a couple signs here with me. Really looking forward to this. What a crowd. Can you all hear the back fine? All right. Still here? Excellent. Well, thank you for having me. Thank you for coming out. Yes. This has been great. Uh, obviously, we're here in support of the Second Amendment, and I am going to talk about that. But I like to start every speech by asking a question. And this is a trick question. I will give you fair warning with that. But how many of you know what the three branches of American government are as defined in the Constitution and the Bill of Rights? If you're confident that you know, shout it out. Executive, legislative, and judicial. No, that is wrong. Those are the three branches of the federal government or the three branches of our state government. The three branches of American government as outlined in the Constitution and the Bill of Rights are we the people, the states, and the federal government. We the people have an individual right to keep and bear arms. We the people gave certain rights to our states to act on our behalf. And we the people allowed the states to give other enumerated rights to the federal government, specific enumerated rights and nothing else. I'm just saying I feel really safe right now. I have no idea how many folks we have here today. I did not expect this bigger crowd to be honest. I knew that this was a last minute uh, put together by individuals. I'm sure if we were in a different state, the media would say this was an NRA rally. But NRA had nothing to do with putting this together. Now, several of us, I'm sure, are members there. I am. Okay. If I use their method of crowd counting, we got about 80,000 people here. Today. Okay. But I'll be truthful, and I'm guesstimating probably 1,500-ish, somewhere in that neighborhood. Good crowd. But I just want you to know that police officers, street cops, support you, okay? In my career, in my career, I've run into so few anti-gun policemen, I could count them without running out of fingers. Let's put it that way. Less than 10, probably. You're probably looking, especially here in Oklahoma, 99.9% .9 of police officers support your rights. Well, ladies and gentlemen, your House representatives are prepared to draw another line in the sand on some of these executive orders by President Obama. We're going to nullify them. The one I want to speak about that irritates me the most is universal background checks. Now, if I'm a public dealer and I sell arms, I have a store and I sell arms, and you buy one of my pistols or rifles, then there's a background check, okay? I can live with that. But if I'm a private citizen and I have a neighbor and he's a friend of mine and I want to sell him my 38 Special, he has to have a background check? No! Yeah. no! is not interstate commerce. My neighbor does not live in Arkansas. He lives in Oklahoma. He's my neighbor. He's my friend. I know him. I want to sell him my 38. And it's not the government's business. So that's the kind of crap that's coming down from your federal government. Oklahoma is a sovereign state. Some state has to step out, step up, and be the model to the other 49 that we're not going to take this anymore. The other thing that we've been really strong in, we've been making a big effort in, is a lot of businesses that have no gun signs. The gunbuster signs, the fallacy that is the gun free zone. Gun, si gun free signs have never protected anybody from anything, and as a matter of fact, I've become pretty damn convinced that they actually make you less safe. It's really impossible for me to completely put myself in the mind of a crazed attacker or in the mind of an average criminal. 
but I can observe behavior and I can see patterns. And by golly, every single mass shooting we've had in the last 20 or 30 years, other than uh, Tucson, Arizona, was in a gun-free zone. Where I come from, you know, I, I'm not a, I'm not a, you know, rocket scientist, but I did go to college, and what I learned is that's a freaking pattern. <laughs> we need to work to eliminate as many of these gun-free zones as we can. But what these people fail to get is that we're not trying to take on the military. What we're doing is we are serving as a deterrent, as a last line of defense against a government that goes off the rails. This is what the Second Amendment's about. The Second Amendment isn't about shooting Bambi in the woods. The Second Amendment isn't about shooting ducks out at the lake. The Second Amendment really isn't about shooting burglars that break into your house in the middle of the night. But that's a benefit I'll damn sure take, amen? The Second Amendment is about being the last line of defense against a tyrannical government that has chosen to trash the Constitution. The Second Amendment, it is not a constitutional right. It is a God-given right protected by the Second Amendment. If a government can give you a right, a government can take it away. And our government cannot take away this right because it is an individual right and it shall not be infringed. Several thousand, I, I'd imagine, yeah, throughout my whole life, yeah. Oh, man. Tens of thousands, probably? Oh, I'm, I'm sure well into the thousands. Zero. What? Zero? None. I never felt threatened. I actually felt more secure having people that were lawful citizens trained in firearms carrying guns around me. Absolutely not. Everybody here is supported, supportive of the Second Amendment, and uh, that's what we're here for. I don't feel nervous because everyone has a gun. Who's going to try to pull something when everyone around you has a, has a gun? Law-abiding citizens have guns. You're not going to see people pulling stuff whenever. Simple fact is, all these people around here are in the common defense of ourselves. They're looking out for their fellow brethren. And some crazy fool comes try to walk in here, I'm pretty sure every person out here is going to pull a gun and shoot him. Yeah. <laughs> This is an extremely low number, 323 divided by roughly 300 million, which is our population, one ten thousandth of one percent. I'm going to keep supporting my Second Amendment rights any way I possibly can. You can watch from one yellow barrier to the other yellow barrier, and it was completely covered. You have tripods, multiple people just walking through, getting pictures of all the posters and stuff, because that's another way to represent themselves. And they've just been enjoying it, and all the publishing is great because it's really getting the message that we want out there. If we don't, you know, if we don't make our voices heard, then, you know, that just, it's easier for them to take our rights away.